By the end of this short video, viewers will be able to list the ways in which COVID-19 can be spread and indicate the relative importance of each. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, describes the ways in which COVID-19 can spread or be transmitted. The primary method of transmission is between people in close contact, which CDC defines as being within six feet of each other. People with COVID-19 symptoms produce respiratory droplets that contain the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus when they cough or sneeze, or even when they talk or breathe. The virus-containing droplets can land in the mouths, noses, or eyes of nearby people, or these people may be able to breathe in the droplets if they remain suspended in the air. People infected with SARS-CoV-2 may be able to spread the virus even before they develop symptoms. Contact with surfaces or objects contaminated with SARS-CoV-2 is another way that COVID-19 can spread, although this is thought to be less important than person-to-person -person transmission. While possible, spreading the coronavirus through fecal matter is less likely. While the primary way that COVID-19 spreads is between people within six feet of each other, does this mean that people are safe if they are separated by more than six feet? An aerosol is a collection of solid particles or liquid droplets, such as respiratory droplets, suspended in air. Scientific studies have shown that people produce respiratory droplets ranging from smaller than one micrometer, which is about 50 times smaller than the average human hair, to larger than 100 micrometers. After being produced, these droplets settle to the floor at speeds that depend on their size. 100 micrometer droplets take a few seconds to settle to the floor, while 1 micrometer droplets may stay in the air for 12 hours or more. Aerosol droplets move with the air in which they are suspended, presenting a risk that COVID-19 can be spread by aerosol transmission. In 2014, Dr. Rachel Jones and Dr. Lisa Brousseau wrote a commentary that included a series of figures illustrating aerosol transmission in an indoor setting. This first figure shows an infected person at location A producing large respiratory droplets in green, medium-sized droplets in orange, and small droplets in blue. A person within six feet at location B will receive a spray of large droplets and will breathe in droplets of all sizes. A person farther away at location C is unaffected. After some time, as shown in this next figure, some of the large droplets have fallen to the floor while the remaining large droplets and virtually all of the smaller droplets are dispersing through the space. The person at location B continues to breathe in particles of all sizes, and the person at location C remains unaffected. In the final figure, after some additional time passes, most of the large droplets and many of the medium-sized droplets have settled to the floor. Almost all of the small droplets remain in the air and have dispersed evenly throughout the space. The people at locations B and C will breathe in these droplets. So, the person at location C is not completely safe from being exposed to the coronavirus despite being more than six feet away from the infected person. Remember, COVID-19 seems to spread primarily from person to person by respiratory droplets and aerosols. Proximity is important. People within six feet of an infected person are at greater risk, but even those farther away in an indoor space may breathe in coronavirus carried in small aerosol droplets. COVID-19 may also be spread through contact with contaminated surfaces and objects, although this is considered a less important route of transmission.